Hello everyone, this is the ninth video of Dynamic Programming Algorithms video series. In this video, I will shortly introduce Markov Decision Process MDP, and how to find the optimal solution by using the value iteration algorithm. An MDP can be defined by a set of states S, set of actions A, a transition function P, and lastly a reward function R. In this process, at any iteration k, we are in state SK, an element of set S. Then we take an action AK in set A and perform it. Taking this action AK yields our SK AK reward and we move to another state SK plus 1 depending on our action. This transaction happens with some probability uh, P SK plus 1 given uh, SK and AK. Our aim in this problem is to find the optimal set of actions that maximize total revenue for a given initial state. To solve this problem, we will use value iteration algorithm. First, let QSA be the expected total reward for taking action A in state S. Also let VS be the max, uh, maximum expected total reward starting from state S. VS is sometimes called a value function in S. We can calculate QSA as you see. RSA is the immediate reward after taking action A. And the summation is the expected future reward after moving to next state S prime. QSA is simply equal to uh, the summation of these two. Then maximum value of QSA over A gives us a uh, VS. In the value iteration algorithm, we will calculate the value functions iteratively until they converge. As an initial step, we set the value functions to zero. Then we repeat calculating VS for each state S until it converges. To calculate Vs, we first calculate QSA as an intermediate step R for action A, then take its maximum over A. Now let's code this algorithm in Python by writing a function called value iteration. The input of this function uh, is the set of states S as a list, the set of actions A as a list, the transition function P as a function, and lastly reward function as a function. I will later talk about how to define these inputs for a specific example. We first set the value functions for each state S to 0. Here I initialize the value function V as a dictionary instead of a list or an array uh, just because to keep track of the state as a key. Then we have a while loop uh, with certain true condition. We will terminate this loop uh, by using break once we get the convergence. Since we will update the value functions at each iteration, I define a variable called oddv to store the value functions at the previous iteration. We can initialize uh, it as a copy of variable v. As a termination condition, we check whether the value function remains the same by comparing oddv with v. To update the value function vs for uh, state s at any iteration, we first calculate q for each action a as you see. One important point here is that we use old v instead of v while computing the expected future reward in this sum because we update v while iterating state s. Then we can calculate and update vs by finding the maximum value of q over a. Once we attain the convergence, we return the value functions as an output. Before showing how to uh, define these inputs, it's worth mentioning that this is not the best way to code this algorithm in terms of the real-time computation performance. Right now, I am not concerned about it uh, because we will share a video about how to make these functions faster. Here, I believe it's important to understand the implementation of such an algorithm. Improving is the next step. To use this function with an example, let's consider a gambler's problem. In this problem, the gambler starts with the initial fortune of size S0 and plays until the fortune reaches the value N or 0. At each gamble, the gambler either wins the bet with probability P or loses it with probability 1 minus P. The gambler gains some reward only if the fortune reaches the value N. Our aim in this problem is to calculate the expected reward for any given S0. The state of the system is the current fortune. So the set S is from 0 to N, where 0 and N are the absorbing states. The maximum possible amount of bet is the minimum of S and N minus S, since the fortune cannot be less than 0 or more than N. So the set A depends on the current state S, 
and it consists of values from 0 to minimum of s and m minus s. In this implementation, instead of restricting the set A, I will define the transition function T in a way that any non-feasible transition will not be allowed. So we define set A from 0 to m and transition function P as you see. It returns P in case of winning, 1 minus P in case of losing, and 0 otherwise. Lastly, we define function R in a way that uh, it returns 1 if S is equal to n, because it's the only state that the gambler wins the game. Now we are ready to run our function with these inputs. These inputs are totally problem specific. So depending on your problem, you may need to modify them. Before showing the outputs, I will modify value iteration function so that we can obtain the optimal policy along with the value functions. We initialize a dictionary called optimal policy where the keys are the states. Then we update this dictionary whenever we update the value function by finding the action that maximizes Q. And we return optimal policy as an output. For the gambler's dream example, let the maximum possible fortune n be equal to 10 and probability p be equal to 0.4. When we run our value iteration function for this problem, the outputs look like as you see. You can see how much the gambler needs to bet in each state by looking at the optimum policy dictionary. For example, the gambler needs to bet 5 when the current fortune is 5 and uh, 3 when the current fortune is 7. In this video, I talk about how to implement the value iteration algorithm. I hope that it was helpful. If you have any question about the problem or the algorithm, please leave a comment. In the next video of this dynamic chromic video series, I will talk about policy iteration algorithm and how to implement it in Python.